Hunts Point is like a, a diamond in the rough, so to speak. 1988 was a very difficult time in the history of New York City, in the Bronx in particular, and in this area as an industrial park. The businesses here didn't even know that they were part of a community. Josephine Infante's motto is if you give people respect, they'll respond. And that's exactly what she's been doing for workers in Hunts Point's industrial park for the past 10 years. Under Infante's leadership as executive director of the Hunts Point Local Development Corporation, the industrial park and food distribution center have grown into a $3 billion industrial center. But things weren't like that when Infante first took the reins. When I came here, one of my key employees told me he was going to quit. He did not want to move to this neighborhood. He drove here and said it was too dangerous. And I said, you know, give it a chance. This is an up and coming community. We're kind of getting in on the ground floor. Now that was 22 years ago. So since the Hunts Point Economic Development Corp is 25 years, they must have been, it's coming, it's coming. And I got to watch this entire place get reborn. New sidewalks, new streets, trees, I mean decor. The Bronx is coming back. We could never we could no longer be perceived as the dumping ground for the rest of the boroughs or, or the dumping ground of the nation. How many jobs will be brought in? Then you have the question if jobs are gonna be brought in, how many are gonna come from Hunts Point? But there was something very special that was going on here. There were people working with people of all races to make sure that by the end of the morning there was food available for 22 million people. Hunts Point is, a, is really a, the food hub for the New York City, which is the capital of the world. And, and, and it's the Hunts Point Economic Development that believes that. They, 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 they believe it like Baldo believes it. And, and Josephine and Jeremy are out there fighting the fight every day of saying, how do we improve that? I come uh, from uh, France. As I was uh, um, looking throughout the city on what opportunities there could be for combining economic development and the public benefit. Um, being central to the Hunts Point Peninsula, which is the, the, uh, the, one of the largest food hubs in the, in the world, uh, I saw a great potential for a, a, a site that had access to the water, access to the rail, and access to roads, which lead directly to New York City. We are a sheet metal contractor. It was started by my father and his partner. And they picked the Bronx because my dad lived in Jersey and Joe lived in Long Island. And this way they'd each cross one bridge and the Bronx was right in the middle. So the Bronx won. There's some great advantages to being where we are located. This market location was studied extensively in the 50s and 60s when they moved the market to Hunts Point. They deemed Hunts Point as the future center of the population expansion of New York. And the population expansion has grown north and west with suburban growth. So they were right on the button with that. We're in El Forno Bakery. My father's the owner. And we do specialty Italian bread. Uh, and bread, bread is a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's an art. It's dedication. It's passion. And that's what we do here. What we do is we pretty much uh, we package and deliver inserts from retailers that want to advertise themselves in the Bronx of Manhattan. So we, we started cleaning and we, we hired great people um, and we worked around the clock. We had workers picking garbage out of the trash off the, off the tail end of a screening machine for, for three winters round the clock, uh, summer, winter, fall. We pulled a total of 10 million pounds of trash off the site. We started literally to just look at a transformation that was one year after another every six months. When you're looking at food and, and a distribution company, I always start with my employees. So we have every continent working here with the exception of Antarctica. So we have multiple languages, multiple cultures, multiple employees, and, and we care about our employees. Uh, as a result of, of what we do, we employ uh, about 300, 300 individuals. Um, had this business been taken somewhere else, those jobs would have been taken somewhere else. We have a number of people that actually live in the Bronx that work for us. 
our, all of our employees use the local establishments here, whether they go out for lunch, if they stay after work and have some dinner. So we try to, you know, keep the community going. If it benefits Center Sheet Metal, then Center Sheet Metal wants to make sure it benefits the Bronx. They all have this uh, same drive of uh, entrepreneurship uh, with always uh, wanting to develop new uh, projects, wanting to develop new markets, new products. And this is where they come to us uh, to ask for help. And this is what makes our job so uh, interesting. Right now we have 350 customers. We always aim to be higher anywhere, double, triple that. We definitely have plans for one year from now, five years from now. One of the things that Baldor's strength really is, is how to move a package. The amount of effort that goes into sourcing it, bringing it by truck, by airplane, by cargo ship, by train, uh, getting it here, and just filling up a warehouse isn't our goal. It's the timing and the linking of getting in here and selling it. Because our goal is to be day bowl fresh. Hunt's point is uh, if you want the uh, refrigerator of New York, uh, the food comes here and has to be kept fresh uh, before it reaches the restaurants uh, and delis and schools of New York City. Several of our companies in Hunts Point are already installing solar panels on their roofs. So this is a really uh, exciting uh, development in uh, energy. The fish market here you see the delivery of fish from, you know, from uh, in New England and also tilapia from, from uh, China or uh, Nova Scotia uh, from Canada and from Norway at six in the morning, seven in the morning, uh, eight in the morning. By 11 o'clock, it's over. All the food has been distributed. This redevelopment will solidify the market's role as the primary provider and distributor of fresh fruits and vegetables to the area for the next 30 years. The access is phenomenal, and what it does is that the food is cheaper. People are starting to realize that the quality of the food is key to how well you will live your life. Fortunately, um, the country, and particularly New York City, has really um, grown to understand the issue. I think that creating a campus right on the water, right across from a, a, one of the largest urban uh, wildlife sanctuaries, um, creates a very idyllic setting for a destination venue. One of, the, one of the best relationships we've been able to form since we got here to Hunts Point was with the Hunts Point Economic Development Corporation. And we really thank them for everything that they do. Uh, whenever we do have an issue or a question or some concerns, we feel that uh, we can go to them. So they've been extremely helpful over the years. I almost feel like they're the principal and we're all a school. They watch out for everybody. They try to mentor anybody that's interested in how to run their business better, to find out what economically is available to you. They run workshops for that. They have the Women's Resource Center. They're always having you know, a breakfast. They bring in professionals, accountants, bankers, uh, people from the healthcare industry, just to educate them how to be successful, how to grow your business, how to stay in the Bronx. People of all nationalities on how to start a business. And we've done that. The state of New York, the federal government, and the city offered opportunities to start a program, which we started in 1996. And then in 2001, we became one of 100 women business resource centers. The Hunts Point uh, Economic Development Corporation has been around for a good 25 years now. And uh, hopefully, uh, we'll, push, uh, we'll push our development project over the line and get it started and finished. It's a great environment to work. People love to come out here. They, they stand where I'm standing, they sit here, we talk. It's a tremendous uh, environment for your brain. Um, I'm, I'm proud to be the developer of this property, and I'm proud to be a member of the Hunts Point community. This is a, an essential industry for New York City. And we're frankly leading the way in terms of, of some of the initiatives that are taking place. The people here really appreciate what you did. And um, they really gave me the respect. And I demonstrated to them that I cared about them.
fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck.